Rachel. Rachel, thank you for abandoning me. I had to take a taxi. Are you kidding me? Just stop. Don't touch me. Don't you think his perspective might be a little skewed? I never had anorexia. You sure as hell didn't watch over me while we were sleeping. And we don't have a goddamn pedophile uncle. That we know of. No, look, that made our childhood a living hell. And then it explains away all your shit in one full swoop. And what did you do? You tell them that dad forced us into a life of prostitution while you were at it? Ew. Wait, nobody got hurt, Rach. I wasn't hurting anybody. I'm hurt. Why would anything I said or didn't say in the hospital hurt you? It wasn't about you. Why not? Why wasn't it about me? I was hopeful. I was on your side. I still am. Do you even know what that means? Do you have any idea how lonely it was while everybody was gone into your terrible world? There was nothing left. Everybody was just empty. Do you think anybody remembered that I was alive? Or that I needed anything? <laughs> and after all that loneliness, and mom and dad blaming each other, and worrying, and death, and divorce, and dad not even being able to listen to music anymore and you're in the hospital lying about all of us instead of telling the truth about yourself. God, Rachel. You have this whole history of sexual molestation. Jesus Christ, it was a long time ago. Well, were you? No. Then why in God's name would you say something like that? It was anonymous. It seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, after Ethan died, I just wanted you to get better or die. Nice. Rachel, thank you. You were lying, and you didn't give a shit about the rest of us. Recovery can't work if you lie, and you know that. I was worthless to you. We all meant nothing to you. You're not worthless. You're my sister. I love you guys, and I need you guys, but you don't get to sit around for the rest of my life deciding what I'm supposed to be like. You weren't there. You weren't inside my head when I was fucked up, and you're certainly not there now. You haven't got a clue what I feel. I feel. Kim, you took Ethan for granted. You were high his entire life. You were not present. You were high. He was like a little pet to you. And then you drove him off that bridge and now he is dead. Yes, I was stoned out of my mind. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Who do I have to be now, Mother Teresa? Did I use up all the love I'm allowed for this lifetime because I killed our little brother? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry.